What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I have yet another story for you. This is not a personal gay dating app story. This is something that I observed today at the beach, a heterosexual dynamic, might I add. Uh, but I, I thought it was fascinating, as I often do when I'm observing courtship in the wild, let's call it. By the way, I'm using a selfie stick for the first time in ages, per a viewer's uh, suggestion in a recent video that I flip-flop the camera too much between my hands. So I'm actually using a selfie stick. I hope, I mean, I'm a little bit farther, which is nice. It's better for my wrist. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so there's this guy that I always see at the beach here in Miami, uh, a straight guy, and I know he's straight because he's always approaching women. Every time I see this guy and I see him, I would say at least 50% of the time, that I go to the beach. He's always just approaching random women who are just sunbathing and he starts to hit on them. By the way, kudos to this guy for having that kind of confidence, that kind of chutzpah, let's say, audacity, uh, that he just goes up to any chick on the beach. She doesn't need to smile back. She doesn't need to wave. No context needed. He'll go up to anybody he wants. So I've observed him in the wild before and I always thought like, damn, I wish I got that kind of attention. Like. It very much is a straight man thing to be that bold to just approach a girl. Like, I don't know about you guys, gay people watching this. I feel like that doesn't happen to us. Maybe at a gay bar, maybe. But out in heteronormative society, you don't really see gay courtship happening. So I'm just always mesmerized by these guys who are just willing to go for it. And by the way, I have some female friends who are very attractive who whenever I'm walking down the street with them, it's shocking to me how many guys are just staring at them or might not, or <laughs> I think it was last year, I was walking with my neighbor and a guy just came up and was like, yo mama, is that your man? Like, <laughs> and she's like, he's my neighbor and he's gay. And he just started hating on her right then and there on the street and I'm again, just, a bystander watching this dynamic. So this for me is such a foreign experience, right? Because I never experience it. Anyway, back to the guy on the beach. So I've seen him in the wild on the beach trying to pick up girls. And I'm always envious uh, of these girls because he's pretty hot. <laughs> but today for the first time, I actually overheard his pickup line <laughs> because I was about 10 feet away from this chick. I was laying on the on the sand on my towel sunbathing she was as well i would say about 10 feet away right so he approaches and i'm like you know <laughs> my arms like this but i'm you know i got one eye out like staring at, at what's happening so he approaches this girl and he says hey you have some ketchup on you in my head i'm like out of all the things you could say that's that's what you started with but she was wearing a red bikini maybe he was just saying it to her because she's wearing red to be funny i don't know Stupid pickup line, but I'm still like curious. Okay, what's gonna happen now, right? So she actually takes it too literally and is like confused touching herself like ketchup But I didn't eat anything and he goes it was just a bad joke I just want to see what's up with you. Are you visiting like he's trying to engage in conversation and and you know Pick himself out of the hole that he created right and she very quickly dismisses him and is like I'm not interested He walks right away doesn't say bye nothing just walks away in my head I'm thinking like dude come on but at the same time secretly like just bitter and jealous that he didn't come up to me, right? And then I look back at the girl after he's walked away and I see that her her belly, like her chest is inflating and deflating, inflating and deflating. And I realize, oh, she's like breathing heavily. Like this freaked her out. She was kind of flush in the face, like kind of vacant as if she was still processing this. And I realized in that moment, this triggered her somehow. Maybe she just got out of a toxic situation. Maybe she's gone through some rough stuff in the past with men. Who knows? Who knows what her story is? But she was clearly uncomfortable. And so in that moment, I went from thinking like, this guy's so cheesy, but like, what a what an interesting thing to witness, to feeling bad for her, realizing this freaked her out. And I've had female friends express this phenomenon of like, yeah, I get a lot of attention and sometimes I want that validation. I had a friend recently tell me that she gets self-conscious if she goes to a bar and no guy looks at her, but she also doesn't want them to approach her because she's not interested most of the time, especially in the guys who are looking at her. You don't even have to lift a finger and guys want to approach you and talk to you but by the same token, you're not doing anything, not asking for it, not wanting it, and a creep could just take advantage of you or be weird or be creepy or be invasive. And then I thought about the dynamic too, 
of her, she was laying down sunbathing, right? She, it's not like she made eye contact with him and smiled or anything. She's in her own universe, minding her own business. She's not even with friends. She's there by herself at the beach. And this guy was like towering above her, hovering above her. He's standing. If you think about the power dynamic difference there, that I could see how that could make anybody feel uncomfortable, especially if they have a history of you know, a power dynamic that's gone wrong, where a man has, has taken advantage of them physically or sexually. So that was fascinating to me that I am watching this from a distance and I was kind of turned on like, damn, I wish a guy would hover <laughs> above me. But for her, it was clearly the opposite response. The grass is always greener, I guess, right? I mean, I have so many female friends who've talked to me about how safety is always something on their minds. I have a friend who walks her dog at night and she's like, I, I even hesitate to do it, even though I need to walk my dog. It's like, it's always in the back of my mind. Don't go too far, stay on your own block, try to go out before sunset and so on. We really live in these completely different worlds, both like men versus women, but also just gay men versus everybody else. <laughs> Very curious what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comments.